Comparing fractions, decimals, and percentages. Which one is larger? Hello learners! Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic. Comparing fractions, decimals, and percentages. Specifically, we'll be exploring how to compare their values. Before we start comparing, let's quickly recap what fractions, decimals, and percentages are. Fractions represent a part of a whole and are written as one integer over another, for example, one half. Decimals are another way to represent fractions. They are based on the concept of tenths. For example, 0.5 represents half or one half. Percentages are fractions of 100. For example, 50% is equal to one half or 0.5. Remember, they are just different ways to represent the same value. Comparing fractions, decimals, and percentages is much easier when they're in the same form. The best approach is to convert them into the same format. Here's how. To convert a fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator, the top number, by the denominator, the bottom number. For example, 1 half becomes 0.5. To convert a decimal to a percentage, multiply the decimal by 100. For instance, 0.5 becomes 50%. To convert a percentage to a fraction, divide the percentage by 100 and simplify if necessary. For example, 50% becomes 50 one hundredths or 1 half. Now we're ready to compare. Let's imagine we have 1 half, 0.3, and 40%. First, convert them all to the same format. Let's choose decimals. So, we have 0.5, from 1 half, 0.3, and 0.4, from 40%. Now it's clear that 0.5, or 1 half, is larger than 0.4, or 40%, and 0.4 is larger than 0.3. Now, let's try a practice exercise. Try comparing one-third, 0.45, and 55%. Convert them all to the same format and then compare. Pause the video here and try to solve it. Answer. 55% greater than 0.45 greater than one-third. And there you have it. With this method, you can easily compare fractions, decimals, and percentages. Remember, the key is converting them to the same format first. Keep practicing, and soon it'll be second nature. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more videos in our series. Happy learning!